Hi, today I'm reviewing the Tarte Cosmic Maracuja Concentrated Face Balm. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money so you know you can trust. My opinion is what I honestly believe. So this is a newer product from Tarte and it is a, what they call a face balm, which is really just a, a thicker moisturizer. So um, I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts on it based on my Sarah score scale. And my first criteria is packaging, and uh, this comes in a jar. It would be better packaged in an, like an airless jar or even like a squeeze tube, but it is a thicker balm, so I kind of understand the uh, jar packaging. Uh, however, it does make it a little bit tricky to dispense. Um, actually, I pick one little spot, and I've been using a little spatula, and every time I just go into that spot, I don't know if that makes any difference at all, but... I figure the entire surface area of that has been exposed to a little bit to air and light, so I just kind of continue digging from that same spot that I made. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's it's okay. I would prefer something a little bit different, or like an airless jar. But, uh, anyway, so um, there aren't many anti antioxidants in this either, so it's not as big of an issue exposing it to light and air. My second criteria is alcohol, and this does not contain any denatured alcohol. My third criteria is fragrance, and it really doesn't contain any fragrance. Or it really doesn't have any scent to it. Uh, it does have basil in it, which is a family somewhat in the mint family, uh, but it's not been shown to be an allergen, so it's not much of an issue. It really doesn't have any real scent to it at all, so it's uh, not, a, not a big issue. My fourth criteria is manufacturing location, and this is made in the U.S., so no issues there. My fifth criteria is ease of use, and it's very easy to use. Um, it's I should have brought a little, oh, I did have a spatula. Um, it smooths over face pretty quickly, and it's got a very uh, gel texture, so um, and it absorbs quickly. As you can see, there are little flecks of glitter, which I think is where they, not glitter, gold, which is where they get the cosmic from, and uh, you can't really see it too much on your skin, uh, but it does absorb nicely. And this one is kind of, instead of calling it a face balm, I would have rather them just name it a balm because you can use this in so many different places. You can use it on your uh, cuticles if you have dry cuticles or dry skin. You can use it on your face. Uh, you can even use a little bit of it in your uh, damp hair if you want to. Uh, so it's really got more uses than just the face balm. So um, and even like on your hand. But uh, I recommend if you're going to use this on your face, I, I'd recommend using it at night uh, over your skincare routine to kind of. Uh, keep that all in there and kind of allow your skin to soak in everything because using this in the daytime I think it's just a little bit too uh, oily for that but if you have really dry skin I can see how you wouldn't you might not have an issue with it kind of being too oily so um, but very easy to use melts immediately which is nice uh, my sixth criteria is antioxidants and it doesn't have a lot of antioxidants in it they really focused on emollients which is Okay, I mean, every skin needs some good emollients in there. Um, it contains uh, Melia azaracata leaf extract and Melia arzacata flower extract, uh, which if you read about those, if you do some investigation of the ingredients on here, uh, it's also from the neem tree, which is related to neem oil. Um, and some information you find might say that this is an irritant. However, uh, extracts from the flower and leaf are not from the irritating part of the plant so um, there's not an issue there but if it's from like the bark or anything like that it could be irritating but this they've chosen to include uh, the two extracts that are not irritating so you probably won't have any issues with that uh, so if they're used in like their whole form it's an irritant but the way they've included in this product it is not so um, but yeah not a ton of antioxidants in there um, and obviously they've included the gold in there, which gold can be an irritant. So um, I wish they wouldn't have chosen it, but I think that's how they get the cosmic name to it. So um, on to number seven, which is animal testing. Thankfully, Tart is cruelty-free, which always makes me feel better about giving them my money. So um, number eight is performance, and uh, it performs okay. Um, it definitely hydrates your skin, but your skin needs more than just 
emollients, it needs antioxidants, it needs peptides, it needs ceramides, it needs vitamins, vitamin C. Uh, so I wish they had included one or two of these, maybe some ceramides, but they didn't go that route. They focused on the emollients. So um, that's okay as long as you use other products in your routine other than just this because your skin needs those antioxidants. So on to number nine, which is price, and it's pricey. So this is the full size, and it's $42. Uh, and the full size, which is this, is 0.88 ounces or uh, 25 grams. So it's not a lot, but as you can see, that little bit I scooped up goes a long way. Like a little, little, like half of a pea size amount will probably cover your entire face. So um, it does a good job, a uh, little bit going a long way. And then on to number 10, which is the it factor. And, you know, had this been a little bit more of an exceptional formula, some more antioxidants, I'm proud of giving it the thumb up for the it factor. Uh, and then the fact, I don't like the fact that they included the gold because um, gold can be a skin sensitizer. Not everyone uh, will have issues with it, but some people can certainly have some issues with it. So um, it probably been better without it, but it wouldn't have been as cool looking. So, because it does look pretty cool in the jar. So... Um, and a little bit goes a long way. So anyway, so overall it's got a 6 out of 10, which is okay. It's it's a decent hydrating product. I'm probably going to be using this at the end of my skincare nightly routine uh, when I run out of one of my other products that I use for it. So uh, it's okay. Worth checking out, perhaps, if you have dry skin especially. So um, anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to try this one out yet or not. And if so... Uh, what your thoughts were and if you liked it or not. So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Tarte skincare line is like very hit or miss because they've got some new products, like a new primer that just came out. I looked, it's supposed to be a hydrating primer and like the third ingredient is denatured alcohol. I'm like, that's not hydrating. Alcohol is not hydrating unless it's a fatty alcohol. So I don't know. It's very hit or miss. So I, they're better in their makeup products than their skincare, but I know they're trying to transition into both. So I don't know. Anyway, those are my thoughts. So um, anyway, uh, feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come up with at least one new review every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net and the Amazon link below. Thank you so much, guys.